Hello friends of Clash, my name is JP in the game Chief Avalon. Today bring you episode number two of my series From Champion to Titan and I will show you two additional new attacks in the Champions League. Let's go to the first attack. The first base I attack is a very common base layout at the moment in Champions League, so I know exactly how to attack that kind of base. I even tried that base for my own. Typically I choose to attack from the side where the Archer Queen is and where I reach the first Inferno Tower quickly. I open the walls on two sides, on both openings I place two golems in front to soak up the damage done by the defenses. On one of the openings, here the one on the bottom, I start my main attack with Pekkas and the heroes following closely. It is important to place them quickly to avoid them walking around the base. The jump spell must already be in place when the troops line up in front of the Inferno. And I now freeze that tower to reduce damage. There is a lot of action in front of the town hall and it should quickly go down. Usually my Archer Queen does a good job at shooting the Town Hall. The Archer Queen now shooting, Town Hall falls and the first star in this raid. Now let's get the second star. My Pekkas are doing a lot of damage on the outside and I still have my Clan Castle troops. I'm at 43%, on the bottom of the base there are a lot of unprotected buildings and I should be able to get those with my clan castle troops. And yes, that should give me an easy 50% win and 2 stars. The last golem is history, 48%, so here come my clan castle troops in the south, targeting directly at the builder's hut. Look at all those unprotected buildings. As the next building goes down, it's 50% and the second star for this raid. So the raid turns out pretty well. Remind you however that it is dangerous to save one's clan castle troops until no tanking bigger troops are left because they are easy targets for the defense when no unprotected buildings should be left. The raid gets me 10 additional trophies. The second raid is a base with two large surrounding compartments. Also notice that behind the second layer of walls there is a layer containing no defenses but only storages and drills. This kind of base is often used as anti-hawk or anti-golem, trying to make them rather walk around the base than to the center of the base. That works however only as long as the golems find defenses closer to them without a wall in between. Therefore, as soon as the big compartment has been cleared, the jump spell will easily lead the golems and the other troops to the center of the base and the town hall. Then those defenses will become the closest reachable for the golems. Therefore, for this guy, I decided to clear the big compartment to the east of the base from two sides and then let my troops gather where the air defense is and jump into the center of the base to get to that town hall. As you see, so far that worked out pretty well. The first inferno tower already down, the queen taking her shots at the town hall. And as the town hall falls, that was already the second star of this attack. Mainly because there was a lot of buildings in that large compartment. Notice that I made a mistake in the beginning of the raid when setting my Pekkas too early, they almost walked around the base, but I managed to save them for the attack by using an, an, an additional jump spell in the south of the base. So, for this raid, a nice 2 stars and additional 12 trophies won. That's it for this episode of Champion to Titan. Hope you enjoyed, if you did make sure to drop a like or subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and hope to meet you again on this channel soon.